Welcome back to Shems. In this episode, we'll look at the laminate floor installation from two different projects. One is over plywood and the other over warm board. You can glue your floor down, you can nail it, or you can just float it. And today we are floating both of our floors. They are not fixed to the subfloor with glue or nails. They are just floating, making it a fast and easy installation process as you will see for yourself. Floors expand and contract. So plan for expansion and contraction. If you don't, your floor will buckle. Bring your flooring inside the room ahead of time so that it has time to acclimate before installation. Next, make sure your floor is level without high spots or low spots, and clean your floor as well. Then begin laying down the underlayment. There are many different underlayment options on the market made out of different materials. Some are with noise reduction properties, others are not. Some come with pre-attached adhesive strips and others don't. Use one that best fits your type of floor and needs. We have two different teams working on two different projects. You will notice different underlayment choices. And as far as tools, some like to use a miter saw and others use a shear to cut the boards. A shear is much quicker in my opinion. You will also see pull bars, tapping blocks, a jigsaw, hammers, and other essential tools used in these projects like the spacers. You will see two different types of spacers. This spacer is adjustable and these come in a fixed size. If you go online, you will see that there are different types of spacers that you can purchase. So when laying down your floor, the first few rows can be tricky because they will move around. So you might want to lay something down on top of them to keep them in place. Lift the board to fit the groove into the tongue and then push it down to lock it in place. Tap the boards like so using a tapping block and a hammer to seat the boards in place. Stagger your boards as you lay them. It will get tight when you get to the wall, but you can use these tools to close your seams, a pull bar and a lamb hammer. Or on this website, it's called a power shunting device. There are different ways that you can use your pull bar, so be creative as long as you get the job done. So we're going to watch and observe our installer take a go at it, fitting one board at a time. This is a great way to learn and assess whether this is something that you can do yourself or maybe you want to hire a professional. Pay attention to how he is fitting the tongue into the groove and then using that tapping block like we discussed earlier. Notice how he first fits three boards at once and then he tapped them in one after another rather than fitting and tapping one at a time. And now we see him taking some measurements for the next two cuts. Notice how quick he is. He is obviously showing experience. It looks like it's going really easy for him. And this is where I was talking about using the shear rather than the miter saw. It's much easier and quicker. It can be conveniently within reach. You don't have to run back and forth to make cuts. We just now saw him use that bar in a different way, uh, leveraging against the wall to close that seam. Here we see him using that bar again, leveraging against the wall 
from one end and from the other end he's tapping in that tongue into the groove. So there he is installing three boards at a time again and now he's using the tapping block closing those three seams one after another. I think we can agree that he is a fast installer showing experience. I don't think your average person could just go and invest into these tools and be on that same level. This type of speed comes with experience. You can see that the thought process going into his work is like a machine, just going and laying one board after another. For the most part, the installation process is very repetitive, but you will come to a point where you will need to use a jigsaw in certain areas like around doorway frames. But apart from that, just keep going with your installation, staggering your boards as you go until you are done. Thank you for watching Shams.